sometimes you see, once you spotted this, you like see it everywhere. In graphic design, you'll sometimes see a design with like three or more gears that are sort of supposed to be meshing together. Sometimes what you see, I, I guess I'll draw some, just sort of wheels like this, but they're supposed to have teeth like this. And then there'll be another one here and another one here. And this is supposed to be like, you know, three things that are working together. The students and the teachers and the parents all come together to make the school work fantastically or whatever it is. And you look at this thing, and if you think about what happens with gears, right, so, so if this one, say this one's going this way, then because this, these two, the teeth are meshing this way, this one has to go this way so that they, you know, because they have to turn against each other. And then what's this one supposed to do? This one is saying that it's supposed to go around that way. And this one is supposed to say it's supposed to go around that way. And so nothing works. And so your school district grinds to a halt or whatever it is. If you happen to have a, a British two pound coin and you look on the back of it, you'll see there's this design with gears and various other things about technology and the industrial revolution. So if you look closely, there's like 19, well, if you count them, I guess you can't look and immediately count 19, but if you count them, like there's, there's 19 of these gears and 19 is odd. So like it goes this way, it goes this way, it goes this way. Odd means that it won't work. So, you know, your symbol of technological process or whatever is like, it doesn't move. So the question is, well, how do you get three gears that do move? Is there a way to change the shape? Like you can't do it in the plane, but if you go out of the plane, then what can you do? So, so here's a few mechanisms that, that show ways that you can make this to go. So, so these, are, these are like uh, worm gears. Uh, you get this sort of screw helix thing. And then the way that they work, well, you can see that it works. And they're, they're all sort of symmetrical around, let's see, maybe if you look directly down here, you can see that there's a symmetry between them. Right, so the, these three sort of worm gears, because of the way that they interact, they don't have a direction in the same way as, as planar gears do, as gears just on the plane. And so you can get them to all work like this. Although you do require this frame. So, so, so this is another solution to the problem. Wasn't really a problem that needed solving, but there you go. So this is, again, it's three gears that turn together and they, they're sort of meshing with each other. But they have this other weird feature that they're all linking with each other. So they're sort of linked gears. They stay in place. You can't actually you can't actually turn one of them without turning all of them at once. It doesn't, it doesn't move. So me and, and uh, Saul Schleimer is a guy who, who I work with these things. So we made this thing and immediately people say, okay, sure, you can make it go, but can you like drive it with a motor? And then what, what we ended up figuring out is like, so here's um, another sort of helical uh, worm screw thing. And then, whoops. So you can see that it's sort of climbing down and as it's going, it's making, making them go. Um, but actually, the, so to answer the question about how do you make it drive itself, so here's this, uh, there's this sort of base that you can put it on and the gears just sort of slide in there. And then if you pull this through, then it makes it go. Or if you just turn it, but like this helix thing turning is sort of the same thing as moving it, as translating it. So if you turn it, it makes the gears go or if you push it through, then it also makes the gears go. This is sort of a, another variant on that same idea. These gears aren't rotating gears, they're sort of sliding gears. All of these have like a, an axis of symmetry, so there you go. So, So the, these, I mean, you can see these, these teeth that make it, make it do that. Let's see if I can do this weird thing. Let's see, so, so the, the illusion, if I move it just right, is that the one that I'm not holding doesn't move. I don't know if you're getting that. So the one, the one that I'm not touching is supposed to sort of hover in the midair uh, while the other ones move. But it's sort of a weird effect because it, it doesn't look like I'm, I'm directly controlling it. I don't know how good I'm doing that. Oh, you, can, you can fix this in post, right? You can just stabilize on it and then you'll be fine, <laughs> right? Of the gaps between the primes as well. You see how you can, some are short. Oh, that was nice. That was satisfying, a nice long gap. It's really nice. I, I, I mean, it's, it's a bit of silly fun. There's no practical use to it or anything, but I, I'd love it.